Well, welcome to this seventh in the series of uh, living rivers, dying rivers. We had uh, the first one was on the Ganga, then the Yamuna. The third one was on rivers of Bihar, Kosi and Bagmati. Then the northeast, Brahmaputra and other rivers. Then another one on Bagmati of the Nip in Kathmandu by Deepak Gewali and Ajay Dixit. Then we had the Maharashtra and Western Ghats rivers, Paranita Dandekar and Pandurang Hegde, and now this is the seventh rivers of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The focus of this is to understand what happens to our rivers, why some of them decline and die, and why a few of them still remain pristine. What are the factors at work? Are we doing something wrong in some cases, something right in other cases? And how we can make sure that uh, the dying rivers are revived and those which are currently healthy remain healthy. And uh, this has been, I thought it was an exciting idea, everybody thought so too. I sent notices to a large number of people and everyone was very excited about this series. But in terms of attendance, this has not been very promising. Uh, you will find this hall packed if it's the, the subject is Pakistan or Kashmir or nuclear deal or something of that kind. But uh, when you talk about rivers, particularly, nobody is interested in the Kaveri. If you talk about the Yamuna, people may come here. If you talk about the Kaveri dispute, though it's a very important issue, no one comes to attend these meetings here. But in any case, today, uh, this series is not about water conflicts or river disputes. It's about the quality of the state of the river and why rivers deteriorate and why Yamuna is a sewer, why the Ganga is a sewer and so on. And this is true of many other rivers. And there are a few which are still relatively clean and healthy. And we, we were also, not too many though, though I asked people to talk not only about dying rivers, but also about living rivers. But everybody is talking about dying rivers which is a commentary on what we do to, to our rivers, which we consider to be holy. In any case, we have two presentations, Tamil Nadu Rivers by Dr. Janakarajan of Madras Institute of Development Studies. He and I are old associates. We've been working together on the Kaveri, where uh, we, he brought together the farmers of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka in a, in a what is called the Kaveri Family Initiative, which has been very uh, promising and it has been widely noticed. And he has also been talking about a multi-stakeholder dialogue, not only in terms of interstate river dispute, but inter-use, industry versus agriculture and so on. And uh, But today, this is not, of course, about dispute, it's about the state of the... I don't know which rivers you're going to cover. Uh, many rivers. Many rivers, okay. And then we have Dr. Latha of uh, what is Chalapura Samrakshan Samiti, the River Protection Committee. And uh, we have been associated also for a very long time in many meetings, starting, I think, with the first one was the Trishur one. Yeah, on, the interlinking. In 2000, about the interlinking of rivers. And she's been fighting many battles, particularly a, a battle against the Atirapalli project. <laughs> And uh, so she is today internationally known. So I'll leave, we'll start with uh, Dr. Janakarajan. The time is not much of a constraint. We have time to 1.30. So you, you can take half an hour, to 35 to 40 minutes, yes. And after that, we can have enough time for discussion.